Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at this Xbox 360 I've had lying about for a couple of years. I just threw it in my cupboard because I bought it as part of a bundle and it never worked. So we're, hopefully today we're going to get it working. This is when you start it up all you get is a red dot. There's no display on the screen or any other signs of life. So rather than throw it away in the bin, today I'm hopefully going to fix it and be able to use it again. So the first thing we'll do is disassemble the console, take a look and see if there's anything obvious. I won't spend too much time showing the disassembly of it, I've actually covered that in another video, which we'll put somewhere on the screen here and you can refer to that if necessary. So let's go ahead and take the console apart. Now we've removed the cover, that's us good to take a look inside. But before we move on, I'd like to say a special shout out to our kind sponsors and supporters of the channel, PCBWay. PCBWay is a go-to for all your electronics and manufacturing needs. They do everything from PCB assembly, CNC machining and 3D printing. With a super fast turnaround and amazing customer support, they are very hard to beat. You can also participate in their 7th project design contest. All information including rules and prizes can be found on the PCB webpage. Don't forget to check out their awesome shared projects community and there's also a $5 coupon for your first order. Please find the link in the description below. So, so let's now take a look inside. We'll start to remove all the other components. That's quite in a bad way, there's a lot of dust there, also there's no thermal paste, it all seems to have dried off, which really would have been part of the problem. So my theory behind what's happened here, due to the dust build up and lack of thermal paste, what we'll do is we'll reflow this chip here, and from what I've read, this chip here can also cause problems, so I think this is a Southbridge chip, so, so we can reflow that as well while we're here. So first of all I'm going to take this out and clean it all up. So I took that outside, blew all the dust and dirt off it. Got a nice clean board now so what I'll do is I'll get an alcohol wipe and take all the residue of the dried up thermal paste off. There's pretty much nothing to take off there, it's just whatever was left come off with these. 
and I'll give the heat sink a clean as well. As we're getting the heat going out, I'm just going to cover any surrounding components with some captain tape just to protect them from the heat. So what we're going to use to refill the solders is rebox station here. But before we fire that up, what I'm going to do is apply some flux round the edges of the chips. So before, I've set the, the heat gun to 400 with an airflow of 6, so before we do that we'll just apply some heat to the bottom of the board. Just keep moving it round. So I spent a couple of minutes there just going over the chips with the heat gun. What I'm going to do is let this cool down now for around half an hour and then we'll come back to it. So now it's us back after leaving it to cool down. What we'll do is we'll just remove the cap on tape. And we'll clean all that flux away. So now we're happy the flux is away, we'll apply some thermal paste. Give it a good spread out. And now we'll go about reassembling the Xbox.
now's a moment of truth, now let's see if it works. Still red light. So that's a real shame. To be honest, I'm a bit gutted it's not working. If anyone's got any good ideas, put your suggestions in the comments box below please and we'll maybe revisit this again in the future and see if we can get it going. But for today it's not happening unfortunately so. So if any of you guys have got any ideas about any potential fixes, please put them in the comments box below and we can maybe take a revisit and try this again. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.